Hi, Rick Bozich here from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, where the NCAA announced the uh, greatest Final Four team of all time, the 1976 unbeaten Indiana Hoosiers. We've got Jim Cruz, coach at St. Louis, Kent Benson, the most outstanding player at the Final Four, Bobby Wilkerson, the 6'7 guard who jumped center, Quinn Buckner, the captain of the team, Scott May, the Wooden Award winner, and Tom Abernathy, the invaluable uh, forward. Let's just start out here with Tom. Just your reaction to such a great honor. Uh, it's a, such a team effort that uh, got us 32 and 0, and an unbelievable coach. And to have this uh, award being given to our team is it really speaks a lot to the character of our our guys, I guess, and especially Coach Knight. So we're we're quite honored. Scott, when you think back to this team, what you guys achieved after 75, you got so close. What 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 stands out about this group? Man, just uh, what, what we went through, and uh, we fought back, and came back the next year, and we we won every game, and um, I'm just really happy to have been a, been a part of it. Ben Buckner, the captain. What was the hardest part of keeping these guys in line? I didn't have that. That was Coach Knight's deal. That wasn't mine. You know, it's interesting the, the way people talk about the captain of a team. This is a smart group, and it's not not like you. There was a whole lot to do. I mean, Coach Knight would tell me what he wanted to do. And I tell them, and it wasn't like you had to put people in position. It was a very smart group that worked hard in practice. So it was, uh, I, I feel like everybody else, I'm humbled by what has been brought to us, but uh, I was proud to be a, a part of the team. Bobby Wilkerson was six, ahead of his time, 6'7 guard, jumping center and out jumping people, taking the toughest defensive assignment. What, what's your fondest memory of this team? Well, my fondest memory is of the fact that we all came together and for a certain purpose and not just the starters but the guys on the bench and the year before that and the year before that it was all a combination and uh, we had great leadership. And Quinn can say what he wants but he was the leader. He, he really dictated uh, him and Scott and, uh, and I'm happy for him. This guy really dictated to us. Kent <laughs> <laughs> Benson, uh, you guys played UCLA and then Michigan a third time in the national championship game. Your memories of that of that Final Four weekend? The Final Four weekend was a, a tremendous weekend. We we all did what we had to do uh, individually and collectively. We came together as a team, and like Quinn had, had talked about, uh, we come together as a team intellectually. We were very intelligent. We did the things that it took to be successful. When you talk about a team, you talk about being able to bring a group of talented individuals together who use our God-given talents and abilities, and at the same time put aside their own personal agendas for the success of the team, knowing that when the team wins, everybody wins. And I think that's what each one of us portrayed on. Thanks, Kent. And Jim Cruz, you're now a coach. Had a very good team this year, St. Louis. We were a four seed out in the, uh, in the, in the South Regional? West. West Regional. I think. We're you, out in California. As, <laughs> as, a co as a coach now, uh, looking back at this team, what qualities did you see in it that, that really made them successful? Well, I think to have the best career, you have to be a, a really good teammate. And there's a lot of things that are consistent in terms of being a good teammate. And that's where we're very fortunate and blessed that, that you're around guys that are really great teammates. And when you have great teammates like, like that, we go back 40 years now, and it's about relationships. And relationships, as, as wonderful as all those memories were, relationships trump that. And, you know, it's pretty cool when you look back and when you meet someone on the first day of class or first day on campus, uh, a bunch of guys, and 40 years later you're still very, very close. That's pretty neat. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Well deserved. All right. Thank you, guys.